All right, hi folks. Uh, Larry Wingett here. By the way, look at this cool new mic I just got. It's made by Blue, B L U E. It's the manufacturer. I got it on Amazon. I used it the other day at a guy's house that I was recording one of his podcasts for. And uh, my goodness, 125 bucks, and this thing is amazing. Um, bi directional, omnidirectional, directional. All the settings on it. If you're doing a podcast or doing some recordings, uh, it is the deal. Uh, wish I was going to get a commission on this thing because I'm going to recommend it to everybody. All this damned equipment that Chris and I have been using and I've been using. and uh, I've been using the Blue Snowball for years and it was just me. But this thing is incredible. So there you go. All right, today I want to talk to you about... Uh, I produced this little card a little while back. And it's called 10 Steps to a Happier Life. You can still download it on my website, LarryWinget.com. And I got a bunch of free stuff on there. If you're not taking advantage of all that free stuff that I give away on my site, well, you're messing up. Uh, but I want to talk to you about some of the things on here because, uh, goodness gracious, I, I think folks just want to be happier, need to be happier. We've got stress issues. We've got depression issues. We have suicide issues. We have... Um, all the things going on in politics that people are upset about and so in life and toxic masculinity and the list goes on and on and on so let's just talk about how to really live a happier life i am sitting on my patio right now I just finished an amazing uh, cigar uh it's a christoph uh, maduro it's just phenomenal and that's one of the things that makes me happier i did a little recording not too long ago about why I smoke cigars and how they help me relax and calm down and just chill out because that's the only thing you can do when smoking a cigar or should do. And uh, I'm sitting out here, my bulldog sitting right there. I got another bulldog down here at my feet. It's a gorgeous day, 70 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I got guys out front working, which I, I love when activities going on around me and things are getting upgraded and looking better and all that. So. Uh, good day to be Larry Wink. It's always a good day to be Larry Wink. I hope it's a good day to be you too. But I'm going to give you some steps and I'm going to do a series of these uh, on the steps to be uh, happier and live a happier life. The number one thing that I put on my card and I want to talk to you about is uh, we got to lighten up. Uh, we wake up every day. And it seems to me like we have a huge percentage of our country. I know we do. I, in fact, I had a chapter about it in my last book, uh, What's Wrong with Damn Near Everything, saying that we had become the butthurt states of America. And butthurt, by the way, is in the dictionary. It was just added this last year to the Oxford Dictionary, and it means to be overly offended. We have people who wake up that that is their intention, is to be overly offended. Now, I find some things offensive, but uh, and I'm quick to speak up, but good God, to go out of my way to look for things like so many people do doesn't serve me or my health or my happiness very well. We need to lighten up. Do you know the things that piss you off right now? I mean, the things you're really pissed off about, you'll have a hard time remembering what they were tomorrow. Maybe in an hour, maybe the next 10 minutes, you will have forgotten and, and which I just tell you, and believe me, holy crap, am I guilty of this one? Because things piss me off. Uh, idiot drivers, people cutting me off in traffic, rudeness, lousy service, all that stuff pisses me off. And I have to remind myself of this one. That's why I put it number one on my list. Lighten up. You know, uh, I, the, I give all these little things on the card here. Uh, a sentence that sort of explains it. And this one says, don't get your panties in a wad about every little thing that happens. Good advice. Don't get your panties in a wad about every little thing that happens. Good God. Do you know that the most often repeated line in the Bible is, and it came to pass. It didn't come to stay. It came to pass. We need to get this attitude that... that uh, the things that are bothering me right now, we won't remember, so why are we so upset about it right now? I think we're going to give ourselves heart attacks, and if you look at the statistics right now about the number of guys out there who just have health issues, and when you look at how fat most people have become, uh, it really is a concern that when you make your heart, I, 
you know, it's kind of an old joke. I used to say it all the time. It's why I, I kind of justify the reason I don't run. I hate to run. I used to run. I really did. I was a runner for a while. And then I stopped one day when it was damn hot outside. I thought I was going to die. And I stopped and I walked home and said, I'm never going to run again. I guarantee you, if you ever get word Larry Wayne gets dead, nobody's going to find me laying on the side of the road with a pair of running shoes on, I'll guarantee you. And the joke I always did was, I kind of think when I'm born, I'm given so many heartbeats and I'm not going to do anything to waste them. And yet the biggest thing that wasting, uh, uh, way to waste your heartbeats, it's not about uh, the running, I'll guarantee you, and I'm not down on exercise or any of that. Don't write me or think that's what I'm talking about. The biggest thing that wastes heartbeats, in my opinion, is letting our heart beat too hard about stuff that really doesn't matter and won't matter in 10 minutes or tomorrow or next year. You know, I, I I've sort of play a game with myself. Sometimes I get so upset and sometimes I really get down about some things maybe I'd said I wish I hadn't said and I always try to make amends as best I can and and I regret some of the things that I do and say just like everyone and you know I've been married for 36 years and sometimes I go holy crap Larry wish you wish you had to act differently on that deal and I make amends and say I'm sorry and all that and uh, sometimes I think how long will I remember this whether it's an injustice I've done towards someone or someone has done toward me, how long will I remember it? And I say, okay, I'm going to hang on to this one and do my best to remember it. And you know, in a couple of days, I can't even remember what that was. And I said, you know, I did something and I'm supposed to try to remember. And I can't. Uh, th things, we take them so seriously in the moment and yet long term they don't matter. So lighten up. Um, and that's the number one thing I can tell you about living a happier life. Lighten up.